Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's Sandy. Uh, I have a little bit of mail to show you. Uh, some yarny goodness. Uh, but there's something that just came up in my newsfeed that I figured I should address. Um, apparently, YouTube has decided that they are not going to send out email notifications for new videos anymore. So, if you are a person that relies on that, you're not getting them anymore <laughs> as of yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, now, I mean, now is it's really important to hit that notification button and hit all on the videos or on the different channels because that's the only way that you're going to be able to get your notifications now. Uh, so, yeah. But that's okay. We'll adapt. <laughs> so, yeah, so make sure that you have hit that notification bell. Oops, sorry, shaking you. Uh, hit that notification bell and hit all on the drop down. And then you will get notifications for all of your channels that you have su subscribed to. Okay? Okay. Having said that and got that out of the way. Okay. Um, something I wanted to show you. I was showing you before uh, the little what do you call them? Hand sanitizer um, covers that I was making. Sorry, I'm just fighting with one right now. <laughs> uh, so I finished them and I, I like the way they turned out. I think they're kind of cute, actually. So here's one. And I put the little um, D-Link clippy thingy on it and it has a little tassel and it has a whoops come on it has a little um word tag so that one says imagine and i made some with the latte cake the little tassel and oop, there you go so I've made a few of them there's another one there's a little green tassel and this is really good to do with scrap yarn too just to get rid of some of your whoop, little scraps so I made, uh, I made a few of them. And the nice thing about them is that, like I used Bed Bath, Bed, oh, Bed and Body Works um, hand sanitizer, but you can also use other hand sanitizers with these. So I made up a whole bunch of them. And I will be putting those on my Etsy. And it comes with the sanitizer, yeah. <laughs> so, so check out my Etsy for that. I don't have them up yet, so give me a couple days. Oops, hang on. Give me a couple days to get those up because I have to photograph them and then I have to put all the description, all that kind of stuff. I may or may not have gotten a Hirschner's order in. <laughs> Um, I'm excited and disappointed all at the same time, if that is possible. Can somebody please tell me when Feels Like Butter came in a small ball? This is, this is not what I was expecting. They usually come in the big skeins. What is this? I got three and the three makes up for probably one of the regular skeins. I'm really not happy. Glad I didn't buy a whole bunch of them like I was thinking about doing. I would have been a little ticked off. 
going to move this a little bit because I keep bonking you. This I am thrilled about. Anybody that's been on my channel for a long time knows that I my, one of my first loves for yarn is Huga. I haven't bought any Huga for quite a while. Um, it just hasn't been on sale and it's, you know, yeah. Well, I happened to catch a sale. <laughs> so, oh, it doesn't show me. Oh, yes, it is. Hang on. I got them for $3.99 each. Now, the U.S., you guys may have gotten your yarn for that much, for your Hugo yarn for that much before. But up here in Canada, we were paying $10 a skein. Like it was, sorry, my toe is caught in my microphone thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so we were, we were paying quite a bit. And so when it goes on sale, we grab it, right? Because it doesn't come around very often. I got, I had this before and I've made um, a cardigan out of it. Oops. Was this color. And this color is called Rust. I've gotten this color before and um, I made a sweater out of it. This is teal. These colors I have not gotten and I was not disappointed. Um, oh, this one I did. This one is latte. As a matter of fact, I think the cardigan uh, tutorial that I've got in my playlist was made from this. So I got some more. But, but this one, it's called Plum Candy. Oh, look at that. It's actually darker. It's dark. It's like that dark. Um, it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i got a three pack of each color because well i had to <laughs> it's just like that i just i had to <laughs> but this color i'm just oh and there's many other colors now, I don't know if they still have their sale on, but you can go check it out. I'll leave the link down below. Um, but I was just like, oh, this is going to be so pretty. And then I thought, maybe I should make a pocket shawl. And then I thought, no. <laughs> it's going to take way too many skeins to make a pocket shawl. And I've only got four. Yeah, I've only got four. So, I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm not sure. Did everybody happen to see Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits? Her video. She got a wonderful 40 skein box of yarn from Crystal from Bago Day. Hello. Uh, that was awesome. I'm so sorry, Kim, that I missed your video. I... Yeah, I, I haven't been um, keeping up as well as I probably should because I haven't been feeling well. But I did watch the replay and I was just like, Woo I was doing Lisa's thing. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so that was pretty exciting. I have been watching other videos too. Um, off the top of my head, I can't even think of what I've been watching because my brain's just not working right now at all <laughs> also uh, a little bit of sad news um, my sister uh, she has a cat named Sebastian I think I 
showed you guys pictures of Sebastian in all his glory when I was staying there when my sister was sick. If you haven't seen that picture, I'll show it here. Um, and he suddenly passed away. Uh, he, it was heart failure or something. We don't know what went wrong. I mean, I just went to my sister's like a week ago, or maybe two weeks now, uh, and took him to the vet for his shots. And she said everything looked good. And then all of a sudden he's gone. Um, I'm really hoping it wasn't the shots that put him in distress. But um, yeah, I don't know. But my sister is devastated. And so is my niece. Uh, Sebastian was um, a sibling of my niece's cats. And yeah, so they kind of keep all the kittens in the family and Sebastian was the last one I believe and so yeah my sister's absolutely devastated he was 14 years old um they were like they were buds they were real close and uh yeah so it was pretty sad um everybody's been asking me if I've taken my course yet I'm taking it on the 20th uh, actually, me and George are taking it, apparently. George has decided he's going to take it with me. So we're doing it on the 20th. <sighs> I've been a little stressed about that. Because <clears throat> there's color theory involved, and I hate color theory. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I think that's probably why I stick to just certain kinds of colors going together when I'm crocheting because I really hate the thought of trying to come up with some funky new, you know, color scheme or whatever. <laughs> I just, I'm bad at it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I know that there's a bunch of different things going on right now, like the 50 for you, 50 for me. I'm not getting involved in that, uh, that one, unfortunately, but if you want to get in involved in <clears throat> excuse me, get involved in it, in it, just put 50 for you, 50 for me up in the uh, description, in the description box, in the search, and you'll come up with a bunch of, um, of creators that are doing it. Sandy from Left is Right is doing it. Uh, you know, so, I mean, there's, there's lots of creators out there that are getting involved. Um, and then there's, uh, Crystal, AKA Ricola, AKA, oh, she changed her name now <laughs> to Ricola's crochet. I can't, I don't even know now. I'm just, I was so used to getting to know her other name, which took a long time to get to know. And now I don't know her new name. <laughs> Sorry, Crystal. Um, anyway, she's the one hosting the Halloween, uh, make along. And Oh, what else is going on? Oh, the um, Harvest Moon. Um, hashtag Harvest Moon giveaway, I think it's called. Uh, which is another one that I'm not getting involved with. I just, I don't have the energy right now um, to get involved with all of these things. So, uh, I, yeah. I'm doing, oh, and hello. My giveaway is tomorrow. So if you haven't seen the video, which I'll have a link up above here and down below, uh, for my crochet day, crochet day, national crochet day <laughs> giveaway. <laughs> um, so yeah, go check that out and watch the whole video because I do ask for a phrase to put in that video. And then I will be doing the giveaway tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to talk about right now. Yeah, I think so. I'll be back on, you know, um, I'm going to start writing down stuff that I want to talk about because I haven't been doing that. I, I've been really bad, really bad. When my, my health goes to pot, it's, uh, 
really hard for me to think. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me too. You know, so actually they haven't been asking me. They've been demanding that I go to the doctor. <laughs> um, and I, I have to say thank you so much for everybody's concern. It really warms my heart. I did call the doctor. What a travesty. Apparently, you're not allowed to have an appointment and go and see a doctor. You have to get a phone call appointment. I'm sorry, but how is a doctor supposed to diagnose you through a phone call? I have a few words for him about that. But what are you going to do? It's the COVID thing, right? So anyways, I have an appointment for two weeks from now. No, next week. And uh, I'll be talking to him and he'll probably send me for some blood work or whatever. But I will let you guys know as soon as I know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was a short one and not a very interesting one, but I'm trying. <laughs> okay. I love you all. Thank you all for the well wishes. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.